Alright, so now that we got all the background crap done with handling our notification, let's go ahead and actually start building it. In other words, giving it an icon, a title, some text, all that good stuff. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call public void Bucky's button clicked. And remember, this is the method that gets called whenever we click this button on the screen we want to create a notification and send it out to the system so the first thing let me comment this build the notification and remember a notification I don't even know I closed out my screen but the first part is an icon the second part is the text and the third part is it's either the time a lot of these things are optional but let's go ahead and learn how to do it right now so anytime you want to add one of these attributes you just call notification which is your notification object and we'll set small icon first now usually you want this to be like a, a picture or the logo of your app but I was too lazy to drag any images in here so I'm just gonna use this one right here this is just the default one that comes with every project that you make is just a little Android icon and it's IC underscore launcher again you would typically make this like the logo of your app like I said but whatever so I'm just gonna set this to R that's ID IC underscore launcher and it's giving me error because it is not drawable alright so another thing that I want to do is I'm gonna set the ticker text and the ticker text remember whenever you get a notification let me minimize that and let's say that you're just out of the app and you're just I don't know scrolling through maybe you're checking the app store maybe you're in another app whatever the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna hear a little sound effect and then it's gonna give you this little icon right here and the little text that says you have a new notification or Bucky liked your post whatever that little bit of text right on the status bar that's called the ticker so that's what I'm gonna build now it's real easy notification dot set ticker and in here you just put some text like I don't know this is the ticker I'll just write that so when we see it in the example you guys will know what it is now another thing that you can do is you can set that time so notification set when because remember your notification on that right side you have the optional time in that way when people are looking at the notifications they can see when you like send them an invitation or when you commented on their post was it an hour ago was it two seconds ago whatever so what we can actually just do here is take system current time millis and that's just gonna get the current time and pass it in to your notification it's like the easiest way now the other part is this I'm gonna add two more things the notification set content title now remember that text that appeared on the notification it kinda of was like the text and email I had two parts the title which was the main header and the text which was a little blurb of text under it so just so you guys can see what's going on I'll just write here is the title and notification set content text this is the main body of it now just write like I am the body text of your notification and make sure you spell that wrong actually it's bothering me alright so I am the whatever whatever blah blah no period F the period alright so now we have our notification bill in other words it looks like something it's the little alien icon and then it says here's the title I am the body text of your notification and it gives the time in the upper right corner so that's what it looks like but now we have to say okay whenever the user clicks on this notification what do we want to happen well what we want to do and this is just going to be real easy is we're just going to send them back to our apps home screen now if you have like a special notification section of your app or it was some action that you wanted them to perform then you can send them to that but we only have one screen here so it looks like they're going to that so the first thing we need to do is we need to make an intent I'm just gonna call it intent for right now and set it equal to new intent 
Now in this, you pass this for context and then the name of the class where you want to send them. And it's just this one right here. So main activity dot class, just like before. Now we can't just send them to the intent with one more line of code because remember, this intent and the way we learned how to do before, it was great whenever you just have a couple intents and they're already in your app. But remember, they can be in an entirely different part of your phone. They can be in another app. They can just be on the home screen looking at the time. They can be in the app store. So what we need to do is we need to give your device access to perform this intent. We need to give the phone the ability to access our app. So what we do is we call a pending intent. Now just name it pending intent, whatever you can name it. I don't know, whatever you want. And set it equal to pending intent get activity singular. And let me, all right. So the first parameter this takes is this zero. And then the third parameter is intent, which is essentially what we've been learning before. And the last one is pending intent dot flag update current. And I wanna cover pending intents in detail later on, but for right now, just think of it that this line of code right here, it gives your phone or your device access to the intents in our app. And of course, all this does is it puts them on the home screen, simple enough. So now in order to pretty much set this intent, what we just do is notification, set content, intent right there. And in here, we just write pending intent. All right, pretty cool. Now there's two more lines of code that we need. So this of course takes care of whenever they click it, they're gonna go to this home screen right here. And oh, funny thing, I just got a notification on my phone right now. Wow, that is ironic, the universe, man. It's a funny world sometimes. All right, so now all we have to do is we need to essentially send out the notification. So I'll just make a little comment like bills, notification, um, and issues it. By the way, issuing a notification means sending it out to your device. So in order to do that, you actually use a notification manager. And I'll just name it like, I like NM better. Nice try. All right, then tap, typecast this to notification manager, and you call the method get system service what service are we worried about the notification service so now we have a notification manager pretty much some dude that can build and send out notifications just think of it like that so how do we send it out well we take that manager dude and he calls a method called notify and it takes two parameters the first one is the ID of your notification because remember, he needs to manage them all, he needs to keep track of them all. The other one is the notification itself. So that's our notification. In other words, it's this icon, that ticker, that time, title text, all that good stuff. And in order to put it all together, you just write build. And that's it. So again, this is just the object that can send out notifications. We're building it and sending it out to the system right here. This is where we say whenever they actually click it, take them to this screen. And right here, of course, we're just customizing it to our liking. And well, that's pretty much it. So now let me go ahead and run this. All right, so let's click for notification. Boop, there it is. And you can also add a sound to it if you want. Um, I'll show you guys how to add sounds later on. This is just a real quick tutorial. And of course, we drag it down, you can just click with your mouse and drag and uh, it'll simulate you dragging your finger but this of course is that icon this is the title this is the body text and this is the time 12 16 and of course whenever we go to it we can just click it no matter where we are it takes us to whatever activity we specified in our intent and take note that that icon or notification disappears and it disappears because of this right here. If you didn't have this, then whenever you went back, 
for example whenever you clicked on that notification it would just stick up there and it would be really annoying for the user so there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is how you use notifications with Android